Hi, welcome to the .NET Monthly Update for September 2022. I'm John Galloway, and I'll bring you all the updates in three minutes or less. First of all, let's start with .NET 7 RC1. There's some great stuff in here for ASP.NET developers, including a lot of Blazor updates, uh, performance and middleware, as well as some developer improvements for building on Mac OS. In Maui, the main focus was on stability and quality. However, there are some nice updates here, including a new map control, a context menu, and some other nice things for desktop development. You can now get the .NET SDK on WinGit. So you can go WinGit search, and then you can do WinGit install to get the .NET SDK. You can also use .NET 7 on Azure Functions. That's due to the new isolated model that actually came out with .NET 6. Um, and it allows you to use any .NET version immediately, as well as using .NET DI and middleware. Okay, let's get your .NET web apps moved from framework to core. So there's a great post continuing a series from the team building Visual Studio tooling and system web adapters. And there's also a, new, a nice post from Mike Brin showing how to use system web adapters with Razor pages as well. .NET is used heavily inside of Microsoft, and there have been a lot of teams that have been sharing their stories as they migrate from .NET framework or older versions of .NET Core to .NET 6. So uh, here are two from the Teams team, as well as one from the Microsoft Commerce team, and all three of them go into depth both about how they did their updates and migration and then the performance benefits they saw afterward. All right. Once you finish this video, I've got some recommendations for you. First of all, you're going to want to jump over to the Learn Live series. We started in, the, in September. We're continuing through the end of November. So you can watch the recorded episodes and then jump into the live ones coming up. Two of our top community standups. Uh, one has been on Blazor. We've got a series on Blazor and .NET 7, including some nice demos showing uh, authorization and WASM improvements. And then Stephen Tobe came on uh, the language and tooling community standup and showed off performance. All right, our community shout out this month goes to Nick as he shows off some cool ways to iterate through .NET lists and some nice benchmarks. I learned some stuff and I recommend it. Coming up, we have, first of all, some great sessions at Ignite. Make sure you watch there uh, October 12th through 14th. And we've got .NET 7 launching at .NET Conf, so don't miss it. All the links I shared are in the description below. Thanks for your time.